When the Civil War began in April of 1861, it was not legal for men of African descent to join the Federal Army. African Americans were serving in the Federal Navy, but they could not join the Federal Army. It was not until July 17, 1862, when Congress passed and President Lincoln signed into law the Militia Act that African Americans were allowed to join the Federal Army. In 1862, regiments were organized in Kansas, South Carolina, and Louisiana. These regiments would be engaged in mostly small unit operations and engaged in combat in 1862. However, it was not until January 1, 1863, in the Emancipation Proclamation, that President Lincoln issued an order to his field commanders to receive men of African descent into all armed services of the United States. The Bureau of United States Colored Troops was established on May 22nd, 1863 with General Order 143. Active recruiting of African Americans began on a national scale in the South and Union occupied territories and in the North. In the Western Theater, African Americans would fight in May of 1863 in the Battle of Port Hudson, the first major battle in which African American soldiers are engaged. In the Eastern Theater, African-American soldiers would prove their mettle in the battle at Fort Wagner, 54th Massachusetts, would lead the assault, the failed Union assault on Fort Wagner. African-American soldiers by the spring of 1864 would become a major part of those Union operations in Virginia. Under General Ulysses S. Grant, they would fight in the battle at, battles at Petersburg, and they would go on to earn distinction with 15 medals of honor being earned in the Virginia theater. And at Newmarket Heights in September of 1864, they would capture the closest point captured to Richmond to that date. And they would go on as of members of the 25th Army Corps, the only Army Corps in American history to capture Richmond, Virginia. African-American soldiers would serve throughout the rest of the war, earning the respect of their generals, an inspector general report that inspected a regiment out of Mississippi. The third United States Colored Cavalry reported that the superior status of that regiment was a reason why Negroes should serve in the active service. It was their service in the Civil War that leads to their enlistment in the regular army. In 1866, six regiments of African descent soldiers were established in the regular army. Four infantry regiments and two cavalry regiments. When the army was downsized in 1869, two infantry regiments would remain and two cavalry regiments and these soldiers would go on to earn fame as Buffalo soldiers.